Sa murang edad, alam na ni Patty na nice niyang maging isang kilalang fashion designer. Pagkatapos niyang makagraduate ng kursong Behavioral Science sa De La Salle University taong 2013, nag-aral na siya ng fashion design course sa Fashion Institute of the Philippines at kalaunan ay sa Central St. Martin sa London. Kilala si Patty sa kanyang signature ostrich feather accents at mas umugong pa ang kanyang pangalan sa international scene nang binihisa niya si Andy Eigenman taong 2016 sa Cannes Film Festival na pasok sa best dress list ng sikat na US magazine na Vanity Fair. Ngayon, she is also expanding her business in Europe and America. Kaya naman, let us get to know more of her not just a fashion designer and businesswoman but also as a mother and an empowered woman. We have with us a very beautiful Patty Ang. Hi Patty. Hi. Beautiful Hello. talaga no. <laughs> Siguro na ano sila sa na designer ba to o celebrity? No. So, who ang celebrity? <laughs> so beautiful. But I remember si Patty, I went to her studio nung ito ka short course in Harvard tapos sinisip ko, ano kaya yung susuot ko pag commencement yeah. exercise? So, dapat mag Patty Ang ako diyan. So first time ko na meet si Patty. Yeah, in the studio. And it was also a memorable moment for me ang suot ko noon Patty Ang. What age did you realize that you wanted to be a fashion designer? Huh. Young pa. I think, um, I remember when I was in high school. Mm. Parang I wanted to have a store. You know, uh, you know, yung mga stores. Are, but then it didn't, it, it wasn't yet fashion design. So I was doodling na ano logo ko. And it's still my logo now. Uh, so that's cute. how it started. And then, um, yeah, but early on, I think when I entered college, I wanted to take up fashion. That but. Mm-hmm. But... I think my family coming from a different kind of field and work business talaga. So syempre for them arts and yan, you oh. know, it's 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 not a real job. Ang is Chinese, Chinese family yeah, ba yan. Yes. That time siguro parang ano yan, clothes bibihisan mo lang sarili mo, 'di ba? So, and then but then I think after college and I still pursued it naman. Sino yung mga inspiration mo no, ng mga designers na tinitingnan mo nung bata ka bakit gusto mo maging designer? I think not designers. Um I got pregnant kasi in a very early stage and I think I had, I had so much body issues myself. Mm-hmm. So when I was young pa, oh, like how do I dress up appropriate for my age? You know, syempre yung age ko, I was young, I wanted to dress up. But then I had so much body issues already. So that's how it started. Buti hindi ka na disheartened kasi diba when you become a mom at a very young age, meron ka bang nakuha na, oh, nako, sayang naman, she became a mom already, parang hindi mo na matutupad yung mga pangarap mo. Diba may mga ganyang connotation na kapag naging mommy ka at a young yeah, age, yeah. ay sayang naman or naudlot yung mga dreams kasi yeah. naging mommy agad. Nakuha mo ba? I think sa akin medyo naging baliktad. Mm-hmm. For me parang a lot of people were talking behind my back that time and parang I wanted to prove something else to them na na kahit I got pregnant early, you know, at least I can still pursue my dreams. And syempre for my kid also, 'di ba? But for you, you use that as a motivation. I think it also made me mature very early. Um, I was aware na also siguro na, you know, financially also I have to take care of of my kid um, and it also made me much sure na you know how life really is the reality of life you yes. know so na kail- meron ka nang ano little one to support and my responsibility, responsibility na, na yeah yun talaga yun. Yeah, yeah, yeah so giving up on your dream of being a fashion designer was not an option no definitely not i think it actually pushed me more because you know i had to work i had to do these things and i had to give up also that quote and quote my childhood in a way because you know i have other things to do and not just that but of course I also had my time you know I went out also I enjoyed I met people also who until this day also helped me with my career yung finding that balance is is a lifelong journey it's an everyday uh, mm. challenge yeah. na ginagawa ng until this model. day to until this day, day yeah, running this your day. business yeah. running your mm. uh, clothing line being a mother mm. a wife uh, diba lahat ya yeah. <laughs> nasa plate ng isang babae yeah. pero kasi i heard na when you first started your business hindi siya nag naging successful agad no actually i started a, a small brand it's called Alexa Pang it's my daughter's name i started it during college but then i realized ko when um you know Sure, I was young. I was young. I had a kid, family. So, you know, of course, I couldn't manage it. So then after I graduated, that's when I pursued my namesake brand. When something doesn't work, you learn a lesson from it. What did you learn? I think it's really time management. But I would say until this day, naman, 
I think time management is my biggest dilemma. It's hard. I mean, it's so much on your plate. You know, again, being a wife, having a kid. Business. Business. Your personal life. Also. Managing people. Ba- managing people. That's number one. You know, with fashion, it, it's more of the back end. Naman yung mahirap, eh, you know? It's not all the glitz and glam that you see in front, but it's the back end of it. Talaga. What's the most challenging part dun sa back end? Um... I think it's really managing the whole business, no? Because being a fashion designer, it's not naman designing only, eh? you know? You also have to be an entrepreneur. So you also have to think of, oh, how do you spend your budget at the back? Mm-hmm. How do you market it? How do you manage your people? And sometimes how us designers, because we're very close with working with our people, eh, diba? It's not naman a, an office work job, eh? Yeah. So I think it's also that one, yung mga kailangan i-manage. Ang ganda ng studio niya sa... <laughs> Penthouse. Ay, diba? Ang ganda. Mas maganda yung kay Mark. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ayan yung gaganda nga na, sa oh, Ang gaganda nga na mga studio nyo. Pero before mo makuha yung magandang studio, paano? Ay, nako. Ah, paano ang naging journey? Actually, wala. I started out in a very, very small studio unit in Eastwood. Hmm. Yeah, parang rent ko nun. 10,000 naman. 10,000 naman. Ganyan lang. Oh. Tapos mainit. Tapos sa storage room lang nagsifitting yung clients ko. Ganyan. Hmm. So when you look back at the picture, it's very humbling. Because you know, at least you get to see how you actually started, um, isang sewing machine lang sa side, tapos oh. dun ka rin nakikipag-meet sa clients. So, very, very small lang. And then... Sino mga clients mo nung nagsisimula ka? Normal people, uh, like friends? Normal people lang talaga, yeah. Uh, I think it's also... Social media was also a, a big help. But super konti na ng clients namin. Sometimes I had client at 7 a.m. Tapos next client ko, 7 p.m. Oo, oh, kasi di ba dapat yan, <laughs> ang challenge pag bago kang fashion designer is to get your name out, out there. there. Na, hey, yeah. I'm a designer. Yeah. You can get me for your yeah. for services. Yeah. Di ba? Yeah. Yun yung challenge. Yung, how did you get your name out, out there. there? I would say maybe word of mouth na rin talaga. Like, for example, that's how how I started my ready-to-wear line is because walang nagpapagawa sa akin ng damit. So parang, anong gagawin ng sewers ko? So, you know, kaya kami lang gawa ng gawa ng RTWP. Ang dami namin RTWP kasi walang nagpapagawa sa amin. Ano yung proudest moment for you? Maybe also na parang at a young age, I could say na nabubuhay ko yung anak ko. Hmm. You know, na parang... I mean, of course, I know our family will always be our family. They're, they're just behind our back. But I think, you know, at least with the travel ko siya. You know, nakakain siya every day, whatever she wants. Kahit pa paano, she gets to buy the things she wants also. So I think that fulfillment for me is... Nabigyan mo ng magandang buhay yung anak mo. I yun ang so. proud <laughs> moment ng isang nanay. Di ba yeah. yun ang dream ng isang nanay? Mm. To give our kids the life that we didn't experience mm. or we didn't have. Mm-hmm. Yung sana yung buhay nila mas maganda kesa sa atin. Mm. Naging challenging din yung pandemic, di ba? Super. Very, very, very much. I think for me, it's more of like, shocks. I have my fam, this this team, my family also in the studio that I also have to take care of. Mm. Hindi lang naman my family at home, but my family also at work. So it's more for them. Like, how do they sustain their living? Mm. Kahit mag- nagsashutdown lahat, di ba? But I think the help with with the PPEs came in also. Mm. Um, and then kahit pa paano, you know, we have clients who also will support. And then Patton was born then nga. Mm. So medyo naging tuloy-tuloy din naman. Ano yung unforgettable moment for you in your journey as a designer? Well, I think it's, it's for me when I was starting, you know, like, wala naman pong bunti. I mean, it's hard. It's, I mean, with so much great designers in the Philippines, you know. Um, it's hard to also prove yourself. So I think it's more of like the stepping stone processes that we needed to go through to reach to where we are. I think it's more of of those little things that, you know, built me talaga and made me stronger. How do you handle criticisms? Ay, wala na akong pake. I think, you know, I think also, you know, with me, getting my history before with getting pregnant early parang everything was said to me na mm. na it also built me for where i am right okay. now na you know kahit may sabihin pa sila you know it shouldn't affect you as long as you know what you're doing is right you're at the right mm. path then i think it should be you know okay diba oh, mm. at least may ganung ka ng mindset yeah. you know people they don't know you at all mm-hmm. personally or kahit ano and then you know they would say stuff but they, for, for me it's more of Just let it go. What do you think is your signature design? Ah, Pag sinabing, what? Pati Ang. I don't know. I think my, my aesthetic is, you know, just 
really clean. Um, I would say mine's more simple, panga. Simple, clean, fun. Of course, you want it elegant, sophisticated. Ako kasi pag naiisip ko pati, ang yun yung mga fur. Feathers. <laughs> the fur and the feathers. Feathers, yeah. Fe- very feminine. Feminine, yeah. yeah yes, but... nakakababae. <laughs> uh-uh. So, if you were to define the brand, Pati Ang, ano ang brand di Pati? Hirap naman. <laughs> uh, my brand, what, what I want is someone who, you know, again, also feels confident in it. But I also versatility. I want people, I want to see people wear and wear it again. Hindi yung one time use lang and mm-hmm. different. So I think, you know, every designer naman, we're all different in terms of our core DNA and aesthetic. So, but mine, I want to see that, you know, people would wear it again and again. Hindi sila mabilis magsawa. That's why I want to keep it simple, classy, and elegant. And what's the most fulfilling part in what you do? I think the most fulfilling is, for me, it's more of of my team. You know, I think if if I see my team also happy with what they do, they enjoy also work. You know, it's sarap pumasok sa work night doesn't feel like work. You know, I create also family in my office. I think for me, you know, must be naka fulfilling and to see them also very happy. The family that you created. Yeah. At saka yung, ang ganda nun, no, that there are lives that you're able to support also because of your business. Yeah, yeah. Nabigyan mo yung mga tao mo ng livelihood yes. also. Mm. Yan siguro yung fulfilling. Thank you very much, Patty, for you. sharing your story. Thank you. Pero syempre, tuloy-tuloy lamang pang kwentuhan sa aming pangbabalik. Music